Israel, where the country's caretaker Prime Minister Yair Lapid is in Paris for first one-to-one -one talks with the French President Emmanuel Macron. Macron received Lapid at the LSC Presidential Palace, where the leaders embraced each other and waved at the cameras. The talks will largely focus on the revival of a 2015 nuclear deal between world powers and Iran, while taking into account the interest of regional partners as well, including Israel. Now, speaking at the briefing, Macron said that the people of Israel are lucky to have Lapid as the new prime minister. Listen in. Israel's government and its people and the entire country are very lucky to have you as their leader. Never forget that here in Paris, you're a loyal friend attached to the security of Israel, but especially to its success within the region. And this success, we both know, goes through the path of peace. It's demanding and difficult, but I have the intimate and deep conviction that you will have in you all the resources to lead your country there and beyond. You were right then, and you're even more right today. The current situation cannot continue as it is. It will lead to a nuclear arms race in the Middle East, which would threaten world peace. We must all work together to stop that from happening. After Lapid took over the premiership on Friday, he was confronted with his first test a day later. As Lebanon's Hezbollah movement launched three drones towards an offshore gas field in the eastern Mediterranean, condemning the attack, Lapid said Hezbollah is continuing on the path of terrorism and is hurting Lebanon's ability to reach an agreement on a maritime border. Israel and Lebanon resumed negotiations on the maritime border in 2020 through though Karish gas field sits outside of the disputed area and is marked as Israeli on previous United Nations maps. The U.S. back talks have been stalled by Beirut's demand that the U.N. maps must be modified. Now, the attack by Hezbollah came after Lebanon rejected Israel's claim over Karish gas field. And talks of Hezbollah would be closely linked with its backer Iran, which is the crucial part of talks in Paris. As Israel has been firmly opposing the international efforts to revive a nuclear accord with Iran. Israeli officials fear that giving Iran sanctions relief in exchange for curbs on its nuclear program could allow Tehran to boost funding to Hezbollah. And for more on this, we were earlier joined by our correspondent Ross Cullen from Paris. This is what he had to say. Listen in. The two men, Emmanuel Macron and Yair Lapid, are meeting in the Elysee Palace just around the corner from where I am here in central uh, Paris this afternoon to discuss a range of international security issues, notably, of course, the war in Ukraine, top of the agenda and the effects of that conflict, particularly on food security uh, and uh, the risk as well uh, for the region uh, and the wider, uh, the wider European region as well, taking in the Mediterranean and, and Israel's response, uh, of course, as well. Looking at the Iran nuclear deal, uh, if, if that could be improved, if that could be revived as well uh, and the Palestinian question as well peace for Palestine of course that's going to be on the agenda as well when the two men uh, meet but specifically also the bilateral relationship and looking at uh, the accords between Israel and France uh, committed firm uh, allies and also uh, working together uh, when it comes to security